everyone. This is session 10 of Gethsemane Online Sunday School. This is for Sunday, June 7th, 2020, and I am Miss Kendra. Before we begin, let's open with a quick word of prayer. Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for everyone at Gethsemane, Lord. Um, thank you for the students, the teachers, the leaders. Um, just thank you for the blessing of our church, Lord. I ask that you be with me as I bring this lesson today. Help to keep us all well. And Lord, uh, we pray for the awesome day when we can see each other's faces again. In your name we pray. Amen. So hi guys, we're at number 10. Holy moly. That's double digits, man. Two hands. But as I've been saying all along, we're in this adventure together. Um, there's plans going out in your email about when we're going to be meeting together. I know that council has been working hard. We've been meeting to try to find good ways for us to see each other's faces again. So I am tentatively excited about that. Um, a couple of our announcements as well. Uh, first of all, drum roll please. Okay, I heard it. We have a VBS date. Woo! VBS this year will be July 28th, 29th, and 30th. So mark those calendars right now. Um, it will look a little different this year. Most of it's gonna be online and hopefully, if we can plan it right, we're gonna have a parking lot party on that Thursday, on that last day. Um, and there will be more details going out in email soon. I've gotta make an official announcement, but I wanted to tell you guys right now, we have a date. So July 28th, 29th, and 30th. And one other thing too, it's gonna be superheroes, yeah! So keep that in mind. Um, one other thing as well, Spark House, hi Pumpkin. One other thing as well, um, Spark House uh, decided today is Holy Trinity Sunday and Spark House uh, went with creation and that's fine and good. But um, since I want to talk a little bit about the Trinity or at least try, it's it's kind of a hard thing for younger ones, but we're going to give it a good go and then we'll get back to the creation. Um, so for your supplemental materials, what I want you guys to do, I believe it would be for Spark House, it's going to go with May 17th because we're going to talk more more about the Holy Spirit. So use those, if you're following me, use those supplemental materials for May 17th that talk about the Holy Spirit. Um, and then one other piece of information, good news, Sunday school, I normally we take a break in the summer, but um, since things are a little wacky, I'm going to continue doing something for you guys for Sunday school. It may not be me every week, but we're going to continue Sunday school in some capacity throughout the summer. So you guys have a little bit uh, there. So things are a little different. So I'm going to be there for you the best that I can. So um, anyway, so those are all my announcements. Sorry, it was a lot. Um, so uh, to start off our lesson for today, um, this week is about Holy Trinity Sunday. Oh, goodness. You're going to have to go somewhere else. I'll be I'm back. The dog cannot teach a lesson. Oh, oh one other thing I want to show you guys. Um, do you see this basket up here? Um, my girls and I ordered for uh, caterpillars for painted lady butterflies. Um, they were caterpillars. They've now turned into chrysalises. And we're hoping in the next couple days they will turn into butterflies. So um, I'll have to send you guys a video of that. We are super duper excited. Would you like to see the chrysalises right now? Here. I'll show you real quick. Oh my goodness. And it looks like one is even moving. Can you guys see that? I don't know if it's thinking about popping out or what's going on, but we are very, very excited about that. So anyway, um, so where was I? What was I teaching today? <gasps> oh my gosh. All right. Whew. The Holy Trinity. Okay. Are you ready, little ones? This is rough stuff. There are adult classes that are taught on this. So I need you guys to put your super thinking caps on. Can you put them on? <laughs> your super thinking cap on okay it looks like it's on out there all right good okay so this is what we're going to talk about and this is the best way that i can explain it okay how many of you know what a tricycle is okay you know what a tricycle is look at each other yeah 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 you got a picture of it in that brain okay i do how many wheels does a tricycle have yeah that's right. It's got three wheels to it. It's got three wheels to a tricycle. Now, um, I want you to think about the word, my language nuts, my some of you that like looking at words, tricycle, or even the word triangle. What do you think the word try is? 
Tricycles had three wheels. My math nuts, how many sides does a triangle have? Ooh, three. So what do you think? So try, hmm. Try must mean three, right? Right? Three is try. So now let's think of that word. Trinity. Hmm. And we're talking about God. So how many parts are within God? How many do you think? If you said three, you would be correct. And here's the word Trinity. Okay. We've got three parts. I started to try to draw a tricycle and failed miserably. So I just put one through two, three. We've got try for three. And then a T is unity. How many of you have ever been to a wedding and they say, this is holy union. So I put a heart. So it's three together in union. Trinity. Can you say that together? That's right. Okay. That's a lot of thinking so far. Give yourself a deep breath. <gasps> Another deep breath. <gasps> All right. Okay, you got that try down. Try is how many? Three. Got that? Okay, here's the next part. So how many parts are there or that make up God? Okay, and some of you may have already studied this at home. You have... God, the, what's another name for dad? The father. God, the, who was Jesus? That's right, the son. And then what was the awesome thing that came last week that we celebrated in Pentecost? Yes, God, the Holy Spirit. There are three parts, God, the father, God, the son or Jesus, and God, the Holy Spirit. And that makes up the Trinity, okay? Now you're like, but wait, that sounds like three. That's like three different things. Nah, bro, it is not. It is all together. And like I said, there are grown-ups that still study this. This is the best way that I can explain it to you guys. Are you still following me? I haven't lost you, have you? Have, you, have I? It's not a plain... Okay, I hope not. Okay, this is what you're going to do now. I want you to go on a field trip outside right now unless it's like pouring down rain and then you can just follow me and do it later I want you to find somewhere outside some three leaf clover okay and it's gonna look like this we see a lot around St. Pat's see that and actually mine has some flowers to it three leaf clovers you're gonna go on a scavenger hunt okay you're looking for something Ooh, can you see that you're looking for something just like that all right pause me and go find some three-leaf clover. Ready, set, go. Did you find some? I hope so. I have a small bunch right here. So I want you to take one of your clover and pluck it off. Okay, go ahead and do that. All right. And your clover, you're going to notice, has... How many leaves? Unless you got super lucky and got a four. And if you did, please text or email me and let me know because I've never found one. Fun fact number 10. Okay, see that? Three. So tell me, do you have a three-leaf clover in your hand? Like one clover? Yeah, you do. How many leaves are on this though? One, two, three try three. Okay. So even though you have three leaves, it is still one whole clover. God works the same way. You've got God, the father, God, the son, and God, the Holy Spirit, but it all works together. And for my older ones, I do know that there's way more than this. I know. Tell them everyone go, I know. But this is a good, easier way to explain it to my smaller ones. If my older ones are more interested in this, grown-ups feel free to um, go into some detail. There's some awesome things to be said as far as the Holy Trinity. So that's my Trinity um, example. Now, 
one more verse because I try to give you guys a verse every week that I like as a side note. You know how I said I was going to talk more about the Holy Spirit? I have a verse for you guys to look at. And this is coming from John uh, 20. It's coming from John 20. Yes, yes, sorry. It is coming from John 14, 26. And what's super cool, remember when we talked about God's house? This is from that same section, okay? And it says that on John 26, it says, but the advocate, this is Jesus talking, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you everything and remind you of all that I have said to you. So here's Jesus talking that the Holy Spirit, an advocate, a friend, that's who the Holy Spirit is, that he's going to be sending to us. So that's another way that the Holy Spirit kind of helps us as a comfort as we um, go throughout this world and that we witness and that we share Christ's love. But I wanted to add that verse as you look at your supplemental uh, Spark House activities as well. So quick review, Trinity is God the Father, God the Son, and then our advocate or helper, God the Holy Spirit. Okay, does that make sense? I hope so. And if it doesn't, it's totally okay. If nothing else, you had a lot of fun picking clover, right? And also, I want you guys to make a fun, um, go pick some more maybe after we're done, unless you got a whole bunch. Make a fun little clover arrangement sometime this week, and it will remind you of how God is three parts in one. Okay, so that's all I have for today. Let's end with a quick word of prayer. Lord, thank you for this day. And thank you that you are a friend and advocate to us, that you've sent Jesus to this earth and that you are God the Father that takes care of us as well. You are three in one, Lord. Um, please help us to have a wonderful week and um, bring us back again soon. In your name we pray, amen. So. That's all I have for this time. Um, and hopefully I'll have butterflies next week. Um, until next time, do well, be well, and peace out. I want to make sure that we are ready to go. Um, we've got, okay, our sugar water. Let's see here, mix teaspoons of sugar and one cup of water. We've got our nectar. They should be coming out in the next day or two. Let's just see how they're doing. What? Oh, nice try, friend. You are not getting our sugar water, Mr. Butterfly.